Well, my name's Tim. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm one of the older guys in the group, but uh, the devil stole about 10 years out of my life. But I had somebody tell me recently that uh, God's going to give that back to me, so instead of being 51, I'm really 41. <laughs> I just want to start off by saying that uh, God is my rock and refuge. He's my strength and shield in whom I will trust. He's done so much in my life, it's incredible. Um, when I was about 38, life seemed to be going great. Um, I was uh, married with four children. I had a successful business. I was um, doing well in life, you know. Uh, things seemed to be going good. I was very active in the church. I was respected in the community. But uh, unfortunately, I went on a church retreat one time, and uh, we went to the snowshoe in West Virginia, and I had a pretty bad snow skiing accident. When I got back, I had surgery, and I had some complications, and of course, they put me on some strong pain medication. And at that time, um, I began an addiction in my life that I couldn't have imagined. I was on and off Oxycontin and other opiates for several years. Um, but life continued to be good. God continued to bless me in so many ways. I was fortunate. I was in the medical device industry. I had a business of my own. I was able to sell it. And uh, by the time I was in my mid-40s, um, I took some time off, a couple of years off, and things seemed to be going well. But I got a little puffed up. I got a little proud, prideful. And I took my eyes off the cross. The Bible says in John 10.10 10, that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's exactly what he did in my life. Um, the Bible also says in 1 Peter 5.8 that, that uh, be vigilant, be sober, that the devil is roaming about like a roaring lion, seeking of whom he may devour. And he had me in his sights like some wounded animal on the Serengeti. And uh, he was coming after me strong. And Unfortunately, I had some other medical problems. I had some business problems as well. I made some bad business decisions, and my life of uh, living well and things going well came to an abrupt end. 2008, the uh, market changed. Uh, all the assets that I had that uh, I've been living so comfortably with went away. I lost uh, my house. I lost my business. I lost my retirement. I lost my kids' college education funds. And instead of turning to the Lord, I it leaned on my own understanding, and that didn't get me anywhere. Um, I went back to drugs, and all that did was um, call, cause that uh, cascading effect to be even greater. And so I went down. I went from being um, comfortable um, to having nothing. And worse than anything, I ended up going through a divorce. My wife divorced me after 27 years of marriage. Um, that's the most painful thing. I lost my family. But um, unfortunately, I continued to use drugs for several years, and it took me to a place that I couldn't have imagined, to where I had absolutely nothing. I had no respect for myself. I had destroyed every relationship that I had, or seriously damaged every relationship that I had. It got to the point where it was only about four and a half months ago that I was begging God to take my life. I was calling out to him to let me die. But instead of taking my life, he made provisions for me to come to Teen Challenge. And by the time I got to Teen Challenge, I was not only financially bankrupt, but I was also spiritually bankrupt. I was emotionally bankrupt, physically bankrupt. When I got here, I was in bad shape. But these folks took me in, and this place is like a refuge for me. It's a place where I can be transformed. And that's what God did with me. In a short period of time, He transformed my life. No longer uh, do I just see God and the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, but I see the Father as my Abba, my Daddy. I see Jesus as my Savior, my Redeemer, but I also see Him as my big brother because now I'm an heir in the kingdom. And the Holy Spirit, He dwells within me. He gives me guidance. And He teaches me things. And He's my comforter. So now I'm at a place where I can grow. I'm pressing into God and He's pressing back and my life's just been totally changed and I'm so grateful for Teen, teen Challenge, but I'm so grateful for the Lord. The second part of that Bible verse in John 10, 10, Jesus said that I came that thou might have life and have it more abundantly. Thank you, Lord.